Today, we have a unique expert with us, Mr. Dario Berta. He is an insider of the Swiss private banking industry and he is an excellent specialist in the trade finance business. This sector of business trade finance is becoming important again in the Swiss private banking industry. And many Swiss banks have rediscovered trade finance as the new promising business. Hi, here is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com speaking from Zurich Paradeplatz. Hi, Dario, how are you today? Fine, and you, Enzo? It's a great pleasure. I'm very well. It's a great pleasure to meet you. So, Dario. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you, sir, with pleasure. So, you worked many years for UPS and you have uh, insider knowledge. You know what happens right now with the trade finance industry and how Swiss banks are managing trade finance again. What is your inside information? What is going on right now? What are the last developments? If you want to hear the last developments, you have to watch this video until the end. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. The past 20 years, I would say, uh, trade finance industry uh, was uh, left on the on, beside as every bank was concentrating on wealth management and also investment banking uh, was reduced in the most banks like UBS or you saw Credit Suisse after the big uh, mergers and acquisitions in the 90s. You saw after the year 2000 nearly that investment banking and also trade finance was reduced. Less the, important, less, less important. Less important, yes, exactly, correct. Answer. Everybody made private banking, private banking, wealth management, asset management, Absolutely. but not trade finance anymore. Absolutely. And what happens now? Tell us. We see the past uh, few years that more banks are again concentrating on trade finance. But the problem is they don't find good, uh, good employees as in the 90s and in 2000 they reduced their employees and um, some of them they were kicked out of the banks. So the know-how right is now, lost? The know-how the know know in most of the private banks were lost in uh -huh. trade finance. Yeah. At the moment we see this, we have the actual situation that we have the family bear as yeah. you know, insider in Zurich. Julius Baer, the, fam Julius the famous, Baer, the family, famous uh, family. Part of Julius Baer family, they want to do again a uh, merchant bank. This merchant bank will, dom will be domiciled in Zurich. They are right now in the process of raising capital to form the new bank. This information so, is an insider information. This is very new. This is a recent development, correct? I think uh, what uh, the family Baer does here now is a good good uh, sign uh, towards the right uh, direction uh, that uh, we rebring some old brands and some know-how to Switzerland in the trade finance industry. So a revival of the trade finance industry, definitely. Say absolutely, and so yes. Thank you very much. And now a very, pr a very practical question. How difficult it is these days to open a bank account for trade finance activities. As we know, you know, bank account opening has become very complicated, time consuming. Many clients are rejected. Many clean clients are rejected. So if you need a bank account for trade finance, how is the situation? How difficult it is to open bank accounts for trade finance? And are you able to do this? Is this something you can help or well, how, do, how do you see the bank account opening procedure with trade finance? Are there specialized banks in Geneva or more in Zurich? Or mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit so about account opening. So Thank you, question. sir. So, um, when we compare the normal account opening in a Swiss bank and the trade finance account opening, it is 10 times more difficult to open an account for the trade finance activities as they really uh, they analyze all your clients, all your transactions, the volumes, 
um, the frequency of the trans transactions, and so on and so on. Especially when we de you deal with some high risk countries, and it is, for example, Egypt, Iran, mm. or Syria. It we, it even becomes nearly impossible to get an, an account in uh, in Switzerland because also of the sanctions, the Iran sanctions, for example, you know, which yes, is very you're absolutely right. The deal breaker at the moment, the banks are waiting until these Iran sanctions are lifted more to start less, business. Or how do you see this? Uh, as I know, most of the sanctions are not anymore uh, into place. Uh, what is concerning Iran? There is uh, some specialized companies in, in, in London. Uh -huh. The same we want to do uh, out of Switzerland yeah. and help clients forming accounts and doing business with Iran. So this is our business. We do basically, you know, opening Absolutely. accounts, helping clients Absolutely. open accounts. So if you ha are involved in trade finance activities, call us. We will help you to open an account very fast. You know, we know the senior bankers. We know the trade finance specialists who have the know-how, as we discussed before, to open accounts. Right. We will do the best that your account will be open in just a few days. With the knowledge of Dario and our knowledge and the team behind us, I think there is, uh, there is nobody who is that fast as we are in account opening. So let us speak a little bit about the volume. So which volume you need? How are the volumes to open an account if you want to go to UBS for trade finance activities? How big are the volumes if you go to a smaller bank? Which are the alternative? Which bank you can try if it doesn't work with UBS? Why it doesn't work sometimes with UBS? It depends on the volumes or what Absolutely. is... Absolutely. With yeah. UBS it depends on the volumes and it depends on the country risk and the yeah. country you're dealing with and the industry you're dealing with especially. Uh, what I can say, because this is really an um, interesting point, we try to tailor-made for each client a unique, a unique bank, a unique banker, so we really, really choose the right counterparty for each client. So, what is important, I think, Enzo, is that we do really a tailor-made solution on each client. Tailor-made account opening. Tailor-made means depending on the volumes he's dealing with, the countries, and in which industry the client is. Active. For example, even yes. geographically, depends if he's active in Asia, right. if he's active, you know, for example, okay. Africa, Credit Agricole, for example, is very good in Africa. Good so if you want, if you deal with Africa and you, you do trade finance activities for Africa, you should go to Credit Agricole, for example. So that's why it's very important for us that we know the client in order that we are in a position to serve him better. The better we know the client, the better we can serve the client with specifically tailor-made tailor solutions. That's really right, Enzo. Absolutely. So we have, as the point before you mentioned, it is really important to choose the right bank. We got uh, French banks like mm. Société Générale, Crédit Agricole, Crédit Lyonnais, who are very strong, as you said, in Asia or in Africa too. Which are the most important players? As said, Credit Agricole, Credit Lyonnais in Asia. Of course, the French banks. Uh, we got uh, UBS and Credit Suisse and Zürcher Cantonal Bank, which is, is a big player in Switzerland, but probably internationally not, but we have two, two big Swiss banks. We also have a uh, very good relationship to some Russian banks who are very familiar in the trade finance mm -hmm. sector and they really want to facilitate and to help the client to do the best out of, he, of their transactions. So the Russian banks, the Israeli banks and the Swiss banks. And on the other side, of course, traditionally, the, the, uh, the French banks, of course. Very interesting. But we have also connection to Liechtenstein, for example. Liechtenstein, we know a bank with Iran connection. Correct. 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 Can you explain? Or can you say a few words about this we bank have, for specific Iran yes. business? We have a small bank in Liechtenstein, which is specialized only in facilitating deals in Iran. So this is a really, really 
small but boutique bank. Boutique bank. Yes. And we have excellent relationship to the owner and to the top management of the bank. On the other part in Liechtenstein, this is very interesting. We got also the two other big banks in Liechtenstein. They are not so active with trade finance, but also familiar, especially when it's about transactions in Europe. Very interesting. This is also a solution. Can you tell us about, can you tell to our audience the costs? How much costs a letter of credit? How much does it cost? Can you give few examples with the quantities, uh, with the turnover, for example, or, or it's whatever? It's always a little bit difficult right now to say about the cost. It can go from 20 basis points for a big transaction when we speak about, for example, Societe General is facilitating a tank full of oil yeah. uh, shipment. It's just a few basis points to facilitate the whole transaction. When we speak about smaller transaction, it goes up to 100 mm. basis point per transaction and can be even a little bit more depending on, Thank you. on the countries and on the counterparty risk. Thank you, Dario. As you can see, maybe in Switzerland it can be that maybe you pay a little bit more for a letter of credit, but keep in mind you have a letter of credit issued by a Swiss bank and this is the passport to the international business community. It opens the door. You are everywhere accepted. You know, a Swiss uh, 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 letter of credit issued by a Swiss bank is unique. It's the passport. It's the door opener. So, and we, Dory and me, we will help you. We will help you to negotiate a very competitive and fair pricing. We will check for you if the pricing is according to the industry. We will tell you, you are out of the industry standards or you are in of the industry standards. Is this price acceptable or not acceptable? That's why we are here, to help you, to support you, to make better deals and be successful together with us. Absolutely. You are so right. And so Switzerland is still, like in England, they have Rolls Royce. So yeah. the Swiss bank is really Rolls Royce when uh, it's about trade finance, about letter of credits, bank guarantees, about promissory notes and all the other products in the trade finance industry. Maybe I can also mention that we, we, we try to facilitate also clients with bill discounting, factoring and forfeiting. Ah, very interesting. I think Similar business. Switzerland, yeah. especially for international companies, Indian companies, Italian companies, French companies, whatever companies. I think we have some really competitive banks also in the factoring and forfeiting area. So we can also help in this sector and we are very familiar and very much interested to help the clients. Thank you, Dore, for this very useful You're information. Welcome. Then I have another question. You know, in Switzerland, there is SGS. For, all, for many of such transactions, you need reports from an independent part. Can you tell us about the importance of an SGS report, what it means, maybe a little bit about history, why is this SGS report so important for trade, trade finance activities? I think we are in the lucky situation in Switzerland that we have some big banks and we have also SGS, who's the world biggest player in this area. And uh, this facilitates, of course, a lot of uh, transactions we are doing as nearly in every, every city in Switzerland, we got SGS uh, that provides our services. And facilitate they do the, the dip oil. test, for example, with the oil, you know. They, they do they, the yeah. test with the oil, they yeah. do the test with the gold, uh, with every commodity. They do test even on raw earths, on whatever material you have. They test it and they approve it. So and these reports are accepted everywhere, correct? This is the absolute standard uh, in the whole world. I think Thank SGS you. is known everywhere. Thank you. So, as you can see, we really provide tailor-made solution. We provide for you the Rolls-Royce solution. So, in case you are considering to do trade finance business in Switzerland in cooperation with Swiss banks, give us a call and let us discuss 
how we can start a successful and remunerative business for you with the most reputable hand-picked bank. We go from bank to bank and we will find the best bank for your business to be successful in business on a long-term basis. Thank you for your time. Be rich and remain rich. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you, Dario. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great pleasure to have you here.